Hello everyone, we are in Bandung. So right now we're in Chihapu. We're gonna move around and see what foods we can get over here. Let's join us. I've been here once already and there are a lot of foods over here. So just move around and see. Ooh, street foods. Now we're inside of the market area. I'm gonna show you what traditional market looks like here. I like the colorful shirts, clothes. <laughs> what is it? Fresh producers are everywhere here. Ooh. I really love the vibes of traditional market in Indonesia. It's beautiful. And here in Chihapit especially, there are a lot of new foods opening inside of this market. So, many options. Ooh, rame ya. Ini apa? Wow, look at this. Coffee. Ooh. We're getting the blueberry mochi over here. Cinnamon roll. They have batagor as well. Batagor is a traditional food from Bandung. It's like fried shumai, fried dumplings, and then you cut it, and then you eat it with peanut sauce. We might try that as well. Oh, so they have different arrays of food over here that you can choose with rice. Yum. Oh, jadi ngambil sendiri ya? Ah, bu pakai nasi satu ya? Ya, makasih. This one is lenca. Right, so over here you just get your own rice and then just get whatever you want and they will compete for you afterwards. Mau? Tadi potongin ya, bu dua ya bu babatnya. Masih. Oh, ini campur ya. Oh, babat tuh. Sama tadi gulai kayaknya. Bakwan. Bakwan udang. Hmm. Prawn fritter. Thank you. Everything is almost finished, but the line. Crazy. So once we're done, we're getting here to pay. They're actually cooking it back there as well. So they keep topping up the toppings, but it's gone. There are so many people here. Sampai jam berapa bu biasanya bukanya? Jam tiga. Ramai banget bu. Bingung loh. Batagor itu pasti udah termasuk semuanya. Ya, oh, yaudah, kalau gitu Batagor So this is a traditional dish of Bandung. It's basically fried things. They fried shumai, they fried dumplings, and they have fish inside as well. The oil is actually looking pretty clean. And then once they are deep fried until golden brown, they will cut it into pieces and then they will put peanut sauce and then also dark soy sauce on top. Mm. They keep cooking away. That's great. This is the name of the Batagor. It's a bit dark over here, but that's okay. We have our fruits. This is the rice. And we have some more toppings over here. The way that I do it, I mix everything up. Papi ambil lenca nggak tadi? Nggak ya, mau nggak? So a lot of things, offals. This is tripe, and then we also have intestines over here. Let's try it. Mm. Intestines. This over here. Small vegetable boba is very nice because it pops when you eat it. I don't know how they cook this one, but it's fragrant and it's very well combined with rice. Mm. 
So the flavor is actually going to be combined with whatever you choose. Mine, I choose some rendang sauce on top, so it becomes a bit more coconutty. I can taste the coconut milk over here. It's savory. Offals, of course, it has that special fragrance as well. We have veggies over here. It's just a burst array of flavor. And Indonesians, we like it with fritters. They also have blanched veggies that you can just add and more importantly, sambal. So they just prepare it on top of the table, you can just add it however much you like. But I would say be responsible, don't, don't get what you can't eat. With sambal, just a tiny bit of it. Ooh. Look at the sambal, it's very bright. Let's see how it tastes. Sambal. I wouldn't say it's very spicy but it's fresh. It adds freshness to your savory dish. That's good. That's a good combination. <sighs> What's interesting about this traditional market is that the vendors are modern. So they are modern brands, new brands. So you can find pho over here, look. Let's try the pho. Smells very good. Let's try the soup. Look at the color. Oh, the pho is pretty good. It's pretty savory. Tastes to me like a bit like bakso soup. <laughs> We also have meatballs here. The face is pretty good. The rice noodle is chewy. The beef is very nice as well. My sister added a lot of cilantro as well as scallions, so it becomes very, very fragrant. Mm. So when you're eating in a place like this and then you see some kettle, it means you can just pour for yourself. That's some tea. Cheers. Batagor. This is what you call batagor, a race of different fried things, fried tofu, fried shumai, fried dumplings, and then they have this element. It's like not only tofu, for it combined with fish. We're gonna do just that. Mm. The texture is very nice. The batagor is crispy and then you dip it inside of a very thick and dense peanut sauce. It gives the smoothness coming out of the peanut. And then you get the sweetness from the soy sauce. But you can still taste the fishiness from the fish inside of the batagor. Very nice. I wouldn't say this is the best batagor I've had. But it's just not bad. Let's try with tofu batagor. You're also given jeruk nipis. It's like lime to counter the fishiness of the fish. Ini limau atau nipis? Limau dong. Limau bukan yang gede ya, Mama. Ini nipis deh kayaknya. Nipis yang gede. Oh gitu. Now we have added the lime. One more bite. It adds brightness and then also acidic acidity to the dish. Mm. And also from what I heard, batagor is an abbreviation for bakso tahu goreng. So bakso is the meatball over there, up top. It's like the meat paste, the fish paste, and then also the tofu here, and then you deep fry them. Ooh, okay, let's finish this. Let's bite. The tofu is super soft. The sauce, you can still see brittles of the nut. So it has the texture, it's not completely soft like skippy. The fried meatball, fish meatball, getting fried. If you just eat the meatball, it's a bit chewy. So lots of different textures here. Crunchy, chewy, soft, peanutty. Mm. Oh my god, I'm spitting peanuts. 
All of the foods that I'm getting here are all below $3 each. Mm. Okay, we're ready to get another food. So I'm gonna hand back over this plate because it doesn't belong there. Mas, makasih ya. Makasih. This is the name for the food. Now we're looking for the light and then we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out from this part of the market. The alleyway to go in and to go out is rather hidden, so you might need to ask around where to go out uh, and in when you go here for the first time. The place is called Gang Nikmat. Hmm, that's a good name for the alley. Look at the murals. We're doing a photo box here with the five of us. Let's go. Di bawah ya, di bawah, di bawah. Boy, tap to start. Oh yeah. Lagi, 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 lagi. 